Load moon showing 10 of 23 items, then 15 after that 20. Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing good. So today in this video, I'll show you guys that how you can easily navigate and present your content or you can say data in a more organized and manageable way. Okay, it's gonna look like this. So there is going to be a button at the bottom of a page that allows you to load more results. Okay, so it basically shows you new results while keeping the old ones alike pagination which replaces the previous results. So without any further delay, let's get right into the video. Okay, so I need a progress bar field. Okay, what else I need here? Percentage. But before this, let me just initialize a local variable. Okay, a bang local variables and we'll name it as. Okay, before naming my local variable, let me just tell you guys that I want my data to be low in batches of five. Okay, so we'll name it as local batch and value should be five okay then i need another local variable to get the total number of products i have okay so we'll name it as local total number of products so i have 23 as my total number of products cool now what i need to do in here i need to calculate the percentage so before calculating my percentage i need to get the value okay so on click of the button i want the value to be stored in a local variable okay so we'll declare another local variable here we'll name it as increment maybe okay increment local increment now i need to calculate what percentage of total number of products is my increment let's say if my increment is 6 so i need to calculate what percentage of 23 is 6 right so here my value value is my local increment okay and divided by the total number of products local number of products into 100 okay yeah so that would calculate the percentage so when a user lands on a screen there should be some data by default right so here on the click of the button load more data i need to increment this variable okay so i need to now initialize it right so it should be five because when a user lands on a page there should be five products okay and if the user clicks on load more result another five products should get loaded so in total there should be 10 products on the screen okay so i have already initialized it now i just test this out okay so i need a button now yeah so here i'll use a button a bank button layout okay in here primary buttons i'll use a bank button widget okay label should be load more products products okay my bad products yeah and in save into parameter i need to increment this variable right so i'll use a bank save and in here my target would be local increment and in value what i need to do i just have to increment this by 
5 okay 5 is nothing but my batch size okay let me just format the code and test this out and let me also show you guys how the local variables values are getting changed okay let me just click on this this has been changed to 10 okay if i click again it becomes 15 now so it's working fine now i need this label as well so for label what can i do okay let me just use this label uh, okay so i need to calculate how many items i am showing at a time okay so for that i need to concat this local increment with local total number of products okay so local increment then what is there it's showing these many items of total number of items okay so let me just use this showing okay i need to wrap it inside concat first concat which will concat the text okay concat showing then local increment the number of items okay and then of next is total number of items that is local total number of products okay and here comes our items items okay there is no space okay now it looks much better yeah after of yeah perfect but this label should be in center okay so for that what can be done okay i have an idea instead of labeling it here i can use a rich text display field a rich text display field and in here i can use rich text item a bang rich text item and text should be this okay this this would do my job let me just get rid of this okay yeah okay let me align this text align center perfect okay but this should be in bold style style okay i cannot use this here i have to use it inside a bang rich text item my bad in here i need to use yeah style strong yeah okay yeah this is better now okay next what i need to do so let me just test this now and i have 15 products on the screen okay at the moment if i click here items would increase to 20 that is correct 20 of 23 items but if i click again it should be 23 showing 23 of 23 items okay let's see showing 25 of 23 items when we have 23 items in total why is it showing 25 items which is totally incorrect so we have to handle that as well okay so in here i am 
incrementing this variable by local batch so I can use if condition okay if difference of these two local variables local number of products minus local increment okay if the difference of these two is greater local batch then this variable has to be increased by local batch that is 5 else we have to increase it by the difference right let's say my current value is 20 and my total value is 23 okay difference is 3 3 is greater than local batch false right 3 is not greater than the local batch so it will execute this statement else statement so it has to be increased by only 3 which is nothing but the difference of these two right because my current value is 20 and my total number of and my total value is 25 difference is 3 so it has to be increased by 3 not by 5 so what I can do for that I can use maybe mod okay let me use that and see if it works or not I have to increase it by 3 right so here I'll use mod mod of dividend and divisor so dividend is gonna be called total number of products okay we are going to divide it by local batch okay let's say my current value is 20 and my total number of products is 23 so 23 is my dividend and batch is 5 if I divide 23 by 5 it gives me remainder as 3 so here it's 3 okay and local increment is 20 so 20 plus 3 becomes 23 right so my local increment would become 23 from 20 to 23 that is correct it should work let me just format the code and again test it test this out yeah showing 5 of 23 items then okay there is an error could not find variable local batch local okay i think comma is missing yeah here let me just again test this showing 5 of 23 items then it should be showing 10 of 23 items we are showing 10 of 23 items then 15 after that 20 and then it should be 23 yay it's 100 percent okay now we need to hide this percentage we will be calculating the percentage but we need to hide it okay here there is a parameter called show percentage which needs to be set as false there you go let's test this again show more products yeah 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 it's hundred percent but what would happen if I click this again let me just do that okay this shouldn't be the case I need to handle this as well so when it's 23 items it should disable this right so here there is a parameter called disable for disabling the button when should it get disabled when the local increment okay is equal to the total number of products local 
increment is equal to the total number of products cool yeah now if i test this again 5 10 15 20 23 this has become disabled if i view this in phone this would look like this you guys must have seen that these kind of designs are mainly used in e-commerce websites but there is one thing that is pending is the color color of this progress bar and the button okay i need to use the color parameter in progress bar field okay the code is hash zero 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 i will use the same color in button widget okay and the style of this button should be solid okay cool now if i test this there you go load mode showing 10 of 23 items then 15 after that 20 then 23 yeah so that's all for the day if you want more such videos please like my video share it as much as you can and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video until then cheers bye bye